Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. US elections. Why Buhari, Nigerian officials are nervous about Joe Biden. Hello, everyone. A very warm big thank you to you. We really appreciate you. Uh, thank you for always being so supportive. God bless you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe if this is your first time. It's no longer a news that Joe Biden has become um, U.S. elect 45th, 46th president. And um, there are indications that uh, Muhammad Buhari, if there is anybody like that, of course, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, there are indications that he's worried, as well as um, Nigerian officials. For starters, we presented you a news where he said Nigerian government should not be oppressive to end SARS protesters. It's funny enough to know that some people were still saying fake news. I don't get it. What do we derive from giving you fake news? What do we really derive? Anyway, that's not the bone of contention today. We are hearing that Nigerian officials are quite scared and worried about this guy. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details. Why this worry? President Mohamed Buhari and his administration officers are reportedly not comfortable with the victory of Joe Biden. The Democratic candidate will be sworn in as the 46th president of the United States of America. This will happen if the incumbent Donald Trump falls in his bid to stop Biden through the Supreme Court. The president insists his challenger did not win the November 3rd polls. His legal action starts Monday. On Sunday, Joe Biden today is still celebrating the victory of the just concluded polls. Joe Parkinson, Africa Bureau Chief for the Wall Street Journal, noted that Buhari and the federal authorities are apprehensive about Joe Biden's presidency, noting that Barack Obama and Biden as U.S. President and Vice President endorsed Buhari's ahead of the 2015 election. The Polarizer Prize finally said that days of rumor we are no longer were are long gone. Parkinson cited Biden's condemnation of the right abuse, the lucky shooting that sparked global outrage. Biden himself spoke into that. So, like I said, I'm going to continue the news. It continues. It's very unfortunate, okay? Apple Line Media, you can trust us, okay? And we really appreciate every one of you that leaves a comment. We appreciate every one of you that likes us, that subscribe, that leave a word. However, before you go about to say fake news, could you do your due diligence? Because by the time you confirm, I've not seen anybody that comes back to say, oh, sorry, the comment I put in was wrong, is actually real, or delete the previous news, the, the previous word they put there as fake news. Did you hear that? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll take that again. Parkinson cited bidding condemnation of the rights abuse at the lucky shooting that sparked global outrage. On October the 20th, Nigerian army troop marched to the Lekki Tollgate Plaza and opened fire on unharmed NSAS protesters, waving Nigerian flag and chanting national anthem. Parkinson said Buhari was one of the first African leaders to congratulate Biden, but privately, some of his key advisors were hope, hoping for a Trump victory and are worried. The reasons are quite simple and linked to human rights and NSAS protest and the weapon sales, he tweeted. Referring to an image showing Buhari and Biden, he wrote, this photo was taken in Washington, D.C. 2015 when Buhari was toast, toast of the town. The old general New Broom would sweep away corruption far more important to U.S. Beat the B-boys. Yeah, the bill, 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 wherever. I don't want to say it because YouTube do not allow to say their names just to stop any form of propaganda or promoting such group, okay? The analyst said it was Biden who greeted Buhari at the White House that day before he met with Obama. Hence that picture you see 
That picture was taken in 2015. Pakistan recalled that in those meetings, Obama promised Nigeria fresh military aid to fight the war and find the Chibo girls terrorists kidnapped then. Recently, he added that Americans stopped short of giving Buhari and his government what they really wanted, attack aircraft because of human rights concerns with the Buhari's administration. Pakistan said it was Trump administration that agreed to sell super tankers for $600 million and later attacked attack helicopters Nigeria had longed hoped for. But the same game changer for the fight against the B-Boys. Since then, the fight has still not stopped. So, Americans have the insinuation that there is something more to Buhari's administration other than transparency. The sales why most paid for is yet sales to be com is yet to be completed. Ironically, senior state department officials were staying at the Abuja Hilton in October to finalize the details why NSAS protesters were on the streets in Nigerian cities. And therein lies the problem with Buhari. The Biden campaign released a statement two days before the Trump administration after the military crackdown at Lekki Toll Gate. It went, it, went much for, it went much further saying the U.S. must stand with Nigeria who are peaceful protesters demonstrators. The, heading, the, the, the headed days of 2015 when Buhari was seen with Obama and Biden at the, as the man who will fight this quick and victorious war against the B-Boys are long gone. The war has turned against Buhari himself. The Northeast Nigeria has become the base of the B-Boys, most successful region where these things happen. So, especially with the U.S. coming to rescue an, a hostage who was taken in Niger, moved to Nigeria, the U.S. do not trust Nigerian security or Buhari says or words to fight corruption. So President Biden may be much less welcoming to Buhari, much less talking about selling weapons to Nigerian um, military, and much forward in criticizing any crackdown on protesters. That's why, despite the tweets, some of the top of Buhari's administration are nervous, Pakistan added. So guys, you've heard it all. You've heard what has really happened recently. What do you think? I would like you to leave a comment, leave me a word, and um, air your view. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.